Hello and welcome, DJ Vic Vapor with you. Back with another Bitwig Studio 2 tutorial, and in this one we're going to be taking a look at this guy right here, the Tree Monster. And the reason I brought the page up in this for this tutorial is to show you their description of what it is, because I didn't really know how to quite go about describing it. So they call it uh, an organic zero-crossing amplitude control ring modulator with a life of its own. And it says that's honestly uh, the most accurate uh, description they can offer. So let's take a look at exactly the noise this thing creates. Sometimes it's good noise and sometimes it's just chaotic. And it's just a matter of practicing and playing with it to dial in you know, what, what you want to taste. So again, uh, we've got this um, synth loop. Nothing too special, but let's hear what the tree monster can do to it. And I'm just going to dial in some of the parameters here. So you can hear it's kind of between ring modulation and just chaotic bit reduction type distortion. So what you've got here is your high and low pass adjustments. You kind of dial in the squeeze in the frequency and the threshold's going to bring it, you know, the threshold's going to go up or down for you. And you've got your pitch pretty easy to understand the speed of how it's going to, um, the rate, speed of how it's going to manipulate the audio, and then the ring effect, how much of the uh, ring amount do you want, and then the overall dry wet or the overall mix amount. So I'm going to play back that synth, and we're going to make some noise. And let me, just for sake of craziness here, turn this down a little bit because I know sometimes some of these uh, audio spikes within the tree monster because of the frequencies it creates can be a little annoying. So. I'll goof around with it a little bit and give you an idea what we're dealing with, but this is definitely one you're going to have to explore on your own. So, all right, let's take a close look at it. So there you have it, real simple look at the Tree Monster Bitwig Studio 2, and let's move on to the next tutorial.